Hello everyone. I'm now at uh, my backyard to do a um, watercolor study of uh, this Vanda orchid. I bought uh, uh, in the South Southern California Flower and Garden Show the past weekend, and uh, I'm going to use watercolor and my favorite brush uh, to start. So I will dampen the paper a little bit the flower area just uh, <laughs> randomly so some dry some wet um, <clears throat> let me see if I can I I'm holding my phone with my left hand so it may be shaking I got a little bit uh, purple left over here and a little bit blue I think it's a uh, good to combine the cold and the, and the hot uh, in the purple making so not to uh, blend it too well just let it blend on the paper so there are two large petals like so and then three small ones i try to leave room for the bleed so i don't really paint the full size expect it just let it bleed a little bit more warmer i think it should be more purplish. It's just like a bombing exploding. Okay, so we're on top floor. This is dry. I like the wetness. You can see maybe I have to spray a little more. Uh, it's you know it's very important to not to paint exactly what you see. Just get the feel. That's it. You know, keep an eye on what's going on on the paper. More important. This is the isolated one, so I want to separate from the main group. Just the for fun. And uh, let me change color. <laughs> let me see. I'll just use uh, the leftover is blue, right? So I'm gonna add yellow to it and uh, some lemon yellow or cardium yellow i'm not sure about that and some green the light ones first <laughs> so i got lights actually lots of lights here on the leaf i'm not sure if i can catch it but basically i'm doing it uh, in two colors one uh, light yellow and one uh, dark Green maybe. There's some twists and turns, very nice, just like calligraphy. So we try to do that. This is in front of that flower for sure, and the, there's only one stem in the center for Vanna or orchid. So I need to keep that in mind. It in color. I like the twist. They're not symmetrical for sure. Okay, now add dark. For dark, I add uh, uh, Winston green or, or ultramarine green. I'm not sure. And just a little bit red to darken it. Oh, that's too dark. But I like the the blackness of that. So I will create a, uh, you can see the color combination of dark on the front, light uh, on the back, right? That's what uh, we try to do. So just add dark next to the light. To blue maybe. That's a handy brush, you should get it. It's very convenient to carry uh, when you travel, you know. Mm 
this is the only on this side there are more um the back so I, I only do the back anyway it's not really important to which is which just the, the combination of dark and the light is important to create the depths the, the illusion of a uh, uh, perspective you can see here okay i'm going back to uh, light tone just to uh, wash it a little bit and, and get some neutral tone of grays for the root I don't have room for the long loot, so just the suggestion of, of that. And uh, the center stock, it's a uh, green with some red, maybe. Just uh, I think we have a small stroke I'm just using that as a stock so this is a, this is it I think we can make it a little curvy actually um, you can see that curves I have another uh, another Vanda here it's a different color. But uh, uh, the secondary lens, uh, secondary um, stems, maybe I just omit that. You don't have to do all details. They're quite long um, secondary stems, so let me to this one be sure it's purple Okay, the center of the flower has a dark accent. We want to do that. Let me get uh, some purple with dark blue. I just dot the center and leave a little white. I don't use white. So, oh, I got some air here. Just a suggestion of that <laughs> for that white pattern, um, maybe we just spray some water. If it doesn't work, we can spray some uh, um, some white, maybe. Too maybe too late. Okay, let me get some white. So uh, I'll I'll show you the result um, later. But, uh, let me okay, the last step I'm going to add uh, the some white texture, a pattern, just like splatters of uh, white. I see, not enough. You have to dilute a little bit, otherwise it's too sticky. Uh, hopefully not too much. There we go. A little bit more.
<laughs> it looked like snow, you know. Then we just started with a little sense of pattern. Just a few suggestions. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.